Real careful your brake line. Take this off, take it hang it up. Put it in there for now will work. Take this off, it can hang it up. Put it in there for now will work. left on there. Yeah, paper thin. Placing these clips. Pop them out. And the kit comes with new clips, also new rubbers. I'm gonna leave those intact for right now. This looks good, we'll clean that up with some alcohol before we reassemble. Okay, let's get the box with the new stuff in it. Uh, Amazon. Double check the price. I think they uh, front and rear cost me about 80, I believe. Come to these pins. Some ceramic silicone lubricant to compound to keep them from squeaking. Don't forget putting that on. Okay, look at those bees. Look how thick they are. Nice. How far they have one. Yeah. 
Okay, next thing you want to do is line them up, make sure all the components, all the features match. Which these do. Little tabs there. Tabs here, match those tabs. Yes, cut out, mark. Okay. So now what we need to do is take one of the old pads, flip your rotor over, or your caliber over, I'm sorry. Put the pad in there, no matter which way you go. The seat clamp over it. What we're going to try to do here is push both cylinders back evenly. It's going to be retracted nice. If you don't do this, you'll never get the caliper back on over the thicker pad because these pistons adjust as everything wears. Okay, I'm going to put that back over there for now. Okay, so now what we want to do is reinstall the new clips or install the new clips. And there are eight of them in there. Should be. Too, when you install these, there's a small clip here. Make sure that's on the outside. That's the wrong one. There are left and rights here. There we go. The brake pad should just slide right in there. Turn on the right. You don't want to go too much because you don't want it to get on the rotor or the pad itself. So if you do get any on the pad, just make sure you wipe it off with a lacquer thinner or some solvent that will remove it.
who she is. And we're just gonna do the same to the other one. Okay. Let's get the clips in for this side. And again, make sure that metal piece is facing outward, which would be, I mean, this one goes here. And this one goes here. So if you do have these reversed, that clip will hit the rotor and squeak up a storm on you. Okay, we're gonna lube up the uh, sliding points. Get that orientation right. There it is. All right. A little grease on the outside. I can get it off. Okay, so the next area I want to lube up is just the face of the pistons. And I cut down any grease, I rattle. Just a little bit. And just a tad on the other side here. All right. All right, let's see if we can get that rotor back on. Should slip on nice and easy. Do have to push your little hoods back. Nice. Yeah, let me get a wrench for that. Well, I brought out my metric adjustable. Should help me hold it. Okay, now we're going to torque the bolts down 
And the spec on those are 55 foot pounds. You put this back on, make sure you got the slot for the valve stem lined up. Keep in mind, look for the nub right there, the nub there. Those are the only ones with the nuts on them. Okay, again, what we're going to do here is get those pistons pushed back. It's simple. Again, take an old brake pad, throw it in, doesn't matter which way. Put your C-clamp over the brake pad and in between the two rear cylinders. And just slowly crank. If there are no issues, they should come right back with little effort. Uh, one thing I did not mention is just take the cap off the uh, brake fluid. The refill cap. Just to let any air out. Never had an issue either way, but it is recommended. Okay, pistons are back. Now we'll put in the new clips. Again, make sure the little, little tabby do is on the outside. 
and the flag is on the inside. It can only go one way. Yeah, this big flag area is on that side. Make sure they're seated well and make putting the brakes back on easier. That one didn't feel right. There we go. So they're seated well. Yeah, before you lube anything up, you can do a dry fit on them. Make sure everything's gonna work right. There we go. That's just fine. Okay. Same as the other side, just put a little lube on the moving areas. Get it on the pad itself. If you do, lock all lacquer thinner. Work well. And I put a little on the front of the pistons. And a little bit on the back here. That's basically just to help things move easy and help prevent a little squeaking. Okay. Put this one on. Hope she dry fit well, now she's gonna give me a headache. There she goes. Most your auto parts stores will let you borrow them if you don't. Because I wanna buy the parts from them. I got all mine off Amazon or uh, e-trailer or Rock Auto. Rock Auto's always been good. Good parts, right parts every time. Okay. Should be able to lower that caliper on now. these little pistons in. Come on. There you are.
Again, 55 foot pounds. Beautiful.